Hello YouTube, hello NFL fans, hello NFL fans. Yeah, I used to work at Fox a while back. I used to write the scripts on the games. What's going to happen during every game, who's going to win and stuff. <laughs> you believe that? Don't believe that. I won this stuff on a contest, a trivia contest. Anyway, hello Bear fans, hello Bear fans. Boy, listen, this is just something new. I've never done it before. Question. What is the over and under? I, I set the bar at eight. How many quarterbacks will the Bears knock out of the game? Uh, you get it? What is the over and under? I, I'll set the over and under at eight. The, the Bears will knock out an over and under of eight quarterbacks this season out of the game. Now, if if we knock them out of the game and the backup comes in and then we then and the starter comes back, that still counts as a knockout. Okay, we knocked him out. He came back, but that still counts as a knockout. I'll set the bar at eight. Eight quarterbacks the Bears will knock out this season. All right, let's talk about it. Week one. Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan is out. He's going to hurt a finger or a wrist or something like that. Bears going to knock him out week one. Their backup, Matt Schaub. Matt Schaub, I'm sorry, got to go. Ankle injury, leg injury, foot injury, something. Two, two gone. Their backup, Matt Sims. Matt, Matt Ryan, Matt Schaub, Matt Sims. Boy, they got some mats down there. Well, Bears are going to step on the mats. Guess what? Matt Sims is gone. He's probably going to be gone from fright. But I'm only going to count two. Because, see, if Matt Sims goes out, then they have to have Matt Damon. Or Matt Dillon. Or Matt Hasselbeck. Or, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. Maybe Matthew McConaughey, huh? Or, or, you know what? The Bears' defense is going to be so bad to the bone. We're going to knock out Matt, Matthew Stafford week one, and we ain't even playing the Lions. That's how bad this defense is. No, okay, okay, let's get serious here. All right, week two. I mean, week one, two quarterbacks, Matt Ryan, Matt Schaub, both got to go. I'm counting that as two now. Week two, we got Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Jameis Winston. His backup is Ryan Fitzpatrick. His, the, the third string is Ryan Griffin. Okay, the fourth string is uh, Sepalupa. Sepalupa. All right, I, I don't know if we're going to knock out James Winston. He likes to get away from the pocket, and he's young and, and limber. We might not knock him, knock him out, but if we do, Ryan Fitzpatrick, we can knock him out. He's tough, but we can knock him out. But I'm only counting two. Two games, two, two uh, quarterbacks. Week three, Ben raped this bar girl. Yes, we will knock out rape Ben raped this bar girl because he don't want to be there anyway. He really he was contemplating tiring. So if he makes it to week three, facing the Bears and we're two and zero. Oh, ben raped this bar girl's gone. That's three. Landry Jones is his backup, and Zach Metlenberg is the backup to the backup. <laughs> All right, that's three quarterbacks. Landry Jones is kind of. I don't think we're going to get him. He's going to have a quick release. Ben likes to hold that ball a long time. All right, that's three quarterbacks, three games. Next is Rodgers, the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> you know he's got to go. He's got to go. Rodgers will be hurt. He will have a very serious leg injury. He might be out for the season, and he might limp the rest of his life. Rodgers will go. Ooh, I can't wait to play them Packers. Rodgers is gone. Okay, that's four quarterbacks, four games. No problem. Then we got the Vikings. Vikings is, uh, I don't even know that fella's name. The kid, uh, the two guys, the girl on the pizza. Yeah, he, he's got to go. We're going, no, nah, I don't know. We might not knock him out. He's too scared. He's going to be throwing up before the ball game and peeing all over the field. We might not. He'll just throw it out of bounds or take a sack. So let's stick it four. Let's stick it four right there. But we're five and zero. Oh. Then we got Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco's coming in with a bad back. His backup is Matt Mellet, uh, Ryan Mellet, uh, 
Ryan Millet, Mollet, Millet, whatever. Okay, we're counting one of them because even if, uh, what's his name, uh, Flacco plays, we're going to knock him out with his bad back. And Ryan Millett, we're going to knock him out too. So if the Millett starts, we're going to knock him out. If uh, Joe Flacco starts, we're going to knock him out. That's five already. All right, next is Cam Newton, Carolina Panthers. Oh, man. You <laughs> know, you hit me, me full flag. Full. Okay, well, he's got to go. He don't run like he used to. If he does run, we're going to get him. If he don't run, we're going to get him. But we're going to get him. We're going to knock him out. That's Cam Newton. That's six quarterbacks been knocked out, and we're undefeated. All right. Then we play Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. We're not going to knock out Drew Brees. He throws the ball, gets rid of the ball too fast. And he's scared of taking a sack. He curls up in a little embryo. So we're not going to be able to get to him. But his backup is Garrett Grison. And we ain't going to get to him. So that's six. Six. One, two. This, that New Orleans game, I said we go undefeated or 17 and two. Remember? That New Orleans game, that's the one that scares me. We might just have our hands full of New Orleans. So that's 1 and 0, 2 and 0, 3 and 0, 4 and 0, 5 and 0, 6 and 0, 7 and 0, 7 and 0. Hopefully 8 and 0, but 7 and 1 at the worst. All right. And then we got Green Bay. Well, Rodgers is already out. If he comes back, we're going to knock him out again. But I'm not going to count that. But uh, I'm counting on that Brett fella probably taking over by then. Or that other fella. What's the third string? Uh, Tyson Chicken. Tyson Chicken is the Green Bay Packers third string. Uh, we're going to knock out one of them. Either Brett's got to go, Rodgers got to go, or Tyson Chicken's got to go. That's seven quarterbacks. Bye-bye. Gong gong. Next, we got the Lions. Matthew Stafford. We're going to get him. If we didn't knock him out week one, we are playing Atlanta. We're going to get him when we face him. We're going to get that. He's tough now. He can sling that ball. But we're going to get Matthew Stafford. All right. His backup is Jake Rudy. 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 He's going to throw it out of bounds because he don't want that big bad bear for defense getting all over him. All right. So that's eight right there. All right. Next, we got those up the Eagles. Carson Wentz. He's tough, but man. He gets red, his face turns red, and he gets all excited. He throws the ball interceptions. We might knock him out because the coach pulls him out. All right, then Nick Poles comes in. So I'm, oh, I want to count that. So that's nine quarterbacks. Uh, uh, I think Carson Wentz and might be pulled or knock him out. Nick Poles comes in. All right, then, then we play, uh, the San Francisco 49ers, Hoyer and Barkley. Now, Hoyer and Barkley already know that we're bad about them. They were on the team last year. And they said he, they said themselves, if this bear defense was healthy, we could have been a contender. And that's right. They're right. So I'm counting one of them. Maybe two of them. But I, I say Hoyer leaves and, and Barkley comes in. He might leave too. And hell, the backup might be that Cap, Cap, uh, Colin Kaepernick. Colin Cap, butt plug. He might come in. But he might be there by then. So that's 10 already. That's 10 quarterbacks. And we, we finish with Cincinnati, which if, if that uh, if that quarterback for Cincinnati's in, we'll knock him out. Lions, the backup. Uh, if, Car if Matthew comes back, we'll knock him out. Then the Browns. Hell, who knows who their quarterback is. And then the Vikings. So maybe 12. I don't know. Ten. I know for sure. I'm setting the bar at eight. Over and under is eight. But I'm going ten, probably twelve quarterbacks. We will knock out of the game. Even if they come back, we'll knock them back out again. That's the Bears, ladies and gentlemen. That's the big bad Bears. That's the Monsters of the Midway. The Army at Soldier Field. We're going to run the ball. I mean, uh, Lakeshore Drive, and we're going to run like Walter Payton. Because we have a defense that stops and an offense that can't be. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Bear down. Go Bears. These guys are for real. Face has put together one great team. We are locked and loaded. I'm loaded, I'm telling you. John Fox, Carolina Panthers. Third year, Super Bowl. John Fox, third year, Denver Broncos, Super Bowl.
John Fox, third year, Chicago Bears. Guess what? Super Bowl. These Bears just might go 19 and 0. 17 at worst. I get mail from all over the world Australia, Germany, Mexico, Canada, all over the United States. I even get mail from Green Bay. You know, these Packer fans, they subscribe to my videos. You know why? So they can put nasty comments underneath my videos, calling me all kind of names, and laughing and peeing about the Bears being so bad. Well, that's over, ladies and gentlemen. All these people, there's Bear fans all over the world. And all these Bear fans that are writing me all these letters, I told them, I said, if you're going to pay attention, close attention to the Bears, this is the year to do it. The 2017 Bears are going from worst to first. The best team ever in football. Right behind the 85 Bears. This is the greatest team I've ever seen. And I've been watching the Bears since 1968. This is the best team on paper I've ever seen in my life. We are deep at every position. We've got quality pro ball players at every position. we got Players with good heads, great talent. I'm telling you, this is the season to watch the Chicago Bears. All right, I set the bar at eight. We are going to knock out eight quarterbacks this season, over or under. I say 12, 10, 12, but I'll set the bar at eight. Tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Go Bears. I love it. Bear down, Chicago Bears. Go Bears. Bear down. I'm so excited. My heart's beating. Watch, watch, watch this Tennessee game. We're going we're gonna to beat them up in their own house. I think, I think we're in Tennessee. <laughs> it don't matter. I'm telling you. We're going to be good. This Bear team is probably one of the best teams I think I'm, anybody's ever seen. Go Bears. Go Bears. I'll be making more videos because I'm so excited. Guarantee it. Bye.